Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my previous video, I have said you how to host a website which we have built. So in this uh, video, let's uh, see how to create a Django database administrations, and we'll see what all the commands has to be run to just create a super user, as well as uh, how to do the changes. If I do any changes, again how to rehost the particular website, and all those things we'll be seeing in this video. So let's play the intro and move on to the coding part. So we have hosted our Django website in my previous video. So let's uh, see how to create administration over there. So I'll just activate this particular environment. So you can see this was the project which we have hosted it. So if I just go back to this particular folder, so you can see whenever I need to reactivate this particular, uh, if you do any changes like all those things. So what I'll do here is I'll just open this uh, project directory in my VS code, which has been open over here. Then I need to activate this particular as a virtual environment so i'll just click onto the tab so not tab so you can see i'll be clicking onto this particular header tab over here so once i click i'll just I'll open this folder inside the command prompt so once i need to run this command so whenever you want to run you need to activate your environment script slash activate so once you activate activate so once you activate you can see you will be able to open this django website you cannot directly run my python manage.po file over here you need to activate first so here i'll just come inside the cd project directory so once i come i'll just tell uh, now what i need to say here is so now suppose i want to log in first i'll say heroku login over here so i'll say heroku login l-o-g-i-n login so i'll be login with the heroku over here so once i log in with the heroku so i'll just press any key so you can see this particular automatically it will be taking the whichever the remote repository everything from here so once you can see it will be logged in i'll just click onto the login button over here so once i logged in you can see it will be showing as a login over here so you can see it has been logged in as jrkprocoder at gmail.com so once it is done i need to run this particular command so as i said the previous authentication and nothing is working so this was the website erahman.herokuapp.com which we have hosted it but uh, some of the administration is not working if i go to the slash admin over here so you can see it is not working it now let's see how to debug it so i'll just tell here as a heroku run bash so sorry this is not the command so heroku run ash so so i need to run this particular command that is a heroku run bash so once i done i need to run the, i need to create make migrations migrate and create super user commands over here so i'll say here heroku run bash bash okay so the heroku run bash will be the command so once i run this particular command so it will be activating the linux terminal over here so it will be little bit it will be hanging it so no need of worrying so you can see it has been created it has been uh, once i run this command it, you can see it is giving me the dollar symbol so here i need to say what python manage dot py make migrations mig migrations i need to run this particular migration so defaultly it will be taking what it will be taking all this uh, field from the postgresql okay so i'll just tell once it is done i'll just tell python manage dot py migrate my py migrate mig -E rat migrate so once i run this particular command so you can see it is applying the migrations for all the particular command so once it is applied so if i refresh this particular page now so now you can see i am getting django administration over here so all the thing i am getting now i am getting the django administration so once the per one error is resolved now i need to log in with this particular credentials so same way i will say here python manage dot py create super user create a super super user so i'll just create a particular super user so here it is asking me the username so i'll just give it as a ark so i'll just tell ark so i'll just uh, so here i'll just tell enter so it is asking a r k p r o c o d e r procoder at 786 gmail.com something i am just giving it okay so here it is asking me the password so i'll just create a password over here okay so i'll just create this particular password so super user is created successfully now i can just log in with uh, from this particular command i'll just tell uh, i'll just log in with this particular credentials so once i log in with this credential so if i can see so i'll just log in with this credential you can see i am logged in inside my database administration over here so i can see i can change the password and number of things i can give i can just uh, log in with the view account so suppose i'll just log out from here 
so i can just see whether i can do it one uh, sign up i'll just do one sign up here so i'll just give the sign up here as a sakina over here i'll just give the email offer something my normal name email so once i'll just say password one two three four five six and uh, one two three four five six so i'll just signing uh, with this particular password so sign up is successful you can see if i just log in with her name sakina and i'll just tell here one two three four five six i'll just log in it so you can see I can just log in successfully. If I just open the block page, you can see I don't have any block page. So if I just uh, go to my admin panel, so I'll just go to the admin panel. If I if I just uh, log in with my super user credentials, so I'll just uh, log in with the super user credentials. So now once I'll just uh, post one of the block page, whether it is working fine or not, I need to check it. Even everything will work fine over here. So I'll just log in with here. I'll just say here as a Django here. I'll say we have hosted our Django website successfully. So let's say we have hosted our Django website successfully. Uh, author name I'll just give it of my name. Here I'll just select the particular image tag. So once I select as an image tag over here, so I'll just select it uh, for uh, any of the image. I'll just click on to the download. So I'll just select my photo over here. The uh, like some I'll just save it. So once I say if I just go to the visit site, you can see if I just go to the blog page, my particular image will be there. I am getting this particular latest post. So one thing what here is, so after a few times, after a few minutes, the particular Django will what the Heroku will be there, the server will get restart. At that time, your static files will get evaporated. That means whatever the images you are loading dynamically, that particular image will get deleted from the server because it is providing a free of cost. It is just deleting that particular server. So if I just click on the block page, it will be there. So after a few minutes, you see the image will get deleted and the particular post, whatever it will be there, it will be or the text will be there because it is coming from the database and this image is coming from the media directory that is one. So we cannot uh, store that type of images inside the Heroku for free. But there is a one more, there is a, uh, I'll give the solution for it. You can just uh, see how to connect your, uh, just your, you need to do what? You need to store your media directory to the S3 buckets in the Amazon Web Services. So one year you will be getting a free over there. So once you host it for free, you can just get the media directory. You can just use this S3 storages for the storing this particular static files over here. I mean to say that these images won't be get deleted. So whatever the images you have hosted from your end that won't get deleted. But inside my blog page, this image I am just uploading from the administration. So the only that will get deleted. Not all images will get deleted. Okay, that thing you need to make mine. So just for to debug that one, you need to do it. What you need to use uh, Amazon S3 services. If you want, you can just comment me. I'll just if I get more comments, I'll just make a video on that. Like how to store, how to save our images inside my website. So this is only one demerit with the Heroku app over here. Only the one demerit here. So we have done everything now. So let's see if I just do any changes, what else I need to do. Suppose I need to add my image over here. I'll just go to the logo here. So it is this base.html page. So inside my base, so wherever there is a ERK procoder here, I need to add what? I need to add an image tag over here. So I'll say here, I need to add a IMG tag. I'll say here as an image tag. So I'll just select it as a, so what I can select, I'll just select it as a HTML. I'll just give it as a image tag. So once I select as an image tag, I'll just say, go to my static directory, static. So I'll just say here as a static. So so I'll just tell here load static. So first I need to load the particular static file over here. I'll just tell LOAD load static. So I need to load this particular static directory. So once it is done, so I'll just select it. Uh, sorry, I need not to give go live. I'll just cancel it. So I'll just select it as a Django HTML here so that I need to get a suggestions. So here I'll, I'll just say a Django HTML. So I'll say here as inside my image. So I'll say here as a static. So once I say here as a static, so I'm not getting a suggestions no problem i'll just type it i'll just say here uh, go to my static directory so inside my static directory go to the images folder so after going to my images folder let me see what is the image name i have given if i just tell erk.png so this is my particular logo so i'll say so where is it uh, img here is here come where is it i'll just go to the base.html so static images i'll just say erk.png image is there so i'll just save this one okay so you need to load this particular image over here so here what i'll give here is a, I'll, I'll give id is equal to yellow geo logo okay so i'll just give it as a id is equal to logo over here so i'll just cut it so i'll just copy this id is equal to logo here so one thing i need to say here is i need to add some of the css fault i'll just say some of the css styling for it so here directly i can just give it here itself inside my header tag 
so i'll just give the particular html style okay so i'll just uh, select now as a html so i'll just uh, say here as a html style so inside my style what i'll say what i have given here as a i have given the id is equal to logo over here so i'll just give the particular uh, hashtag so i'll just say wherever there is a hashtag id is there so i need to use with the hashtag whichever the uh, logo is i'll just tell hashtag logo so here i'll say wherever there is a logo make the particular h i g h t height to so whatever the height is there i'll just make it to around 100 150 pixel if i want to make it as a 150 pixel i'll just make it so width i'll just keep it as a auto width. so i'll just make the auto as a width over here so i'll just save this much so once i save this much let me see whether uh, the things will get changes or not so i'll just come back over here so you can see i'll just cancel this one so now i need to i have done some of the changes over here so what i'll do here is i'll just come out of the terminal over here so i'll just press ctrl cc so you can see i am coming out of the terminal so now i'll say git status here so if i just say git status you can see i have edited the base.html file so what i need to do i need to save everything over here so once i save everything so i need to say git status because i have done the little bit changes in some project that is i have a git status you can see it is saying me you have modified this one so now i need to say what git add iphone iphone all i'll just say git add iphone iphone all i'll just say git co co mmit commit iphone m i'll just say added the logo something you can say inside your comment so i have added the logo okay one style have been nine has been insertion i'll say again git push h e r o k u hiroku master so i'll say git push hiroku master over here so once i done this particular command so you can see all the files will get changed over here so once i again if i just refresh this particular page the particular changes i'll be getting to see from here so let me see whether i'll be getting so if i see if i just open the block page so i can see the image is uh, still there so let's see whether uh, after some time you can see the image will get not there over there okay so better what you can do so just uh, remove the image uh, attribute from your html page itself just keep the particular uh, content here the content will be there no no not an issue so if i just open the home page again so if i just refresh 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 so let me see still the it is hosting it so you can see still it is uh, discovering and again still it has been now uh, running all the commands so once this is launched now you can see it has been applied to heroku now if i just refresh this particular page so now you can see the particular logo has been changed over here so let me see whether uh, all the thing is working fine or not so i am directly i have added i have not tested also so now you can see the logo has been coming over here so you can see the logo has been visible over here so you can just uh, resize the particular logo if i inspect this one so you can see if i just open if i just uh, you can see it is looking in this particular fashion logo is coming in this particular fashion so if i want to reduce little bit size of it i can just tell, select this one so i can just give the particular uh, height to 200 pixel or anything so i'll just uh, see i'll just give it to hand it height as a i'll just reduce this little bit i'll just reduce till so i'll be keeping as a 43 pixel once i keep it as a 43 pixel so you can see in the 43 pixel will be like this so what i'll do here is i'll just make it the particular height to 50 pixel okay so later when next time i'll doing the changes i'll just uh, change this particular uh, at the time it will just uh, get changed over here so you can see how we have uh, done all the changes so once you have done change how you can be not done and one more thing the most important thing what i need to say here is so if you if you are just to close this project in my app if you are doing any changes with your models.py whether you are creating a models whether you are uh, renaming any or changing the attributes at that time you need to run the migrations you need to say what you need to run again this particular command that is a hiraku run bash then you need to run python manage.py make migrations as well as migrate command you need to run and this is the two important thing you need to do run the, whenever you do changes when where in the models.py file itself so other time so no need of running this particular three command from this particular uh, file only you need to run like how i have shown just you need to activate it then you need to if you do any changes run all the git command so you should not run again git init you should run with the git status add commit and git push hiroku only four command you need to run whenever you do any changes with your environment i have shown you how to activate the file in my starting of the video so that's all for this video so i'll see you in my next time